Hey guys, this is Miss Bridget. Today I have an art project for you, but I'm going to also teach you about the art of Zentangle. And if you don't know what Zentangle is, all it is is just the art of doodling. So I've got this quick, easy Zentangle art project for you. All you need is a piece of paper and some markers. Alrighty, so step one is we're going to take a black marker and we are going to scribble all over our paper. Now we're going to start from one edge of our paper and continue a line going to the other edge. And then we're just going to keep adding lines until we are happy with it. You can do straight lines, curvy lines, you can do shapes on your paper, it's all entirely up to you. Now you might be able to notice that from these lines intersecting or crossing over each other, we've created these spaces in between the lines. In these white spaces is where we're going to take all of our other markers and doodle or zentangle. And it's going to look really cool when we're all finished. Alrighty, so I'm on to the next step. I am just taking a marker and I'm starting my first pattern in this first section on my paper. Now if you're kind of stuck at the beginning and you don't really know where to start or what pattern to do, don't worry. Um, same thing happened to me when I first found out about Zentangle. So if you are stuck, you, what you can do is you can just Google Zentangle patterns or let's up some on Pinterest and that will give you some ideas on where to start. But for the most part, it's the whole exercise of this project is you're just kind of free doodling. You're making it up on the spot. You're not spending too much time focusing on what colors you're going to do or what type of pattern. You're kind of just doing it as you feel it. So I finished up my first section and now I'm on to the next. And you're just going to repeat that process of doodling in one section until you're happy with it and moving on to the next until your paper is completely covered in all kinds of colors and patterns and shapes, anything you want. Um, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to quickly finish up my paper and I'll see you in just a minute with hopefully the final product. Alrighty, so I have drawn in every single section of my paper. I even added my name because every artist has to add their artist signature to their piece of art. Um, but if you're at the spot where I'm at and you've drawn in all of your sections and you think, well, what else could I do? Well, take a look at it again. See, is there any spaces on my paper where I haven't drawn or doodled in yet? And if there are, see if you can go back and add more to those empty spaces. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take my marker and just try to fill in those white spaces where I don't have anything there yet. And the only reason why I say go back and try to add more is just because that's a big aspect of Zentangle. It's just filling up every single blank piece on your paper with some kind of doodle or scribble or pattern. Um, so you can just take advantage of the space. But if earlier, whenever you're at the sage sta stages as me, where you filled up every section um, and you're happy with it, then go ahead and stop. But I want to keep going, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to continue to try to doodle in these little blank spaces that I have left. And then when I'm done, I'll show you the end result. The final look. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I hope you had fun, too. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.